I'm gonna pause this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can't help them. Alright. Alright, alright, all right. let's get it. It, but I don't think it will. Actually, before I start, I need to lower my computer. Alright guys, we're going to continue day 2 of Legacy of Goku 2. Um, basically, if you guys weren't here yesterday, we are in West City. We're by Capsule Corp. Um, this is the Cell Saga. Uh, if you guys don't remember, it starts off with Trunks uh, in his timeline, losing Gohan, turning Super Saiyan. Uh, lose against the androids and then came to this timeline uh, He defeated Frieza, Goku landed on Earth and <clears throat> Told us all about the androids that are being here in three years, so we're all training basically. This is a training arc uh, Right now I'm as Piccolo, but I can become Gohan and the last thing I did was take out the Triceratop King <coughs> A lot of these missions are not really part of the anime or the manga is just, you know, kind of like part of the game, uh, like side quests and stuff like that, which is okay. Uh, now, I believe we're going to, well, there's a bunch of spots here, but we're probably going to come over here to the northwestern. Actually, the star is the one, but this is, oh, we're still supposed to be in West City. Um, let's see what's in what. No, you know what? We're going to go level up a bit. Uh, Gohan's level 9. And um, we'll see what this Northwest Wasteland is. I think this is new. What's up, Nintendo? What's up, Ben? How you doing, man? Uh, just gonna level up for a bit. Uh, I don't know if there's enemies here or what to do. Uh, so we'll see how where, what it takes. It looks like this is the area. I don't know because I thought this was the area, maybe where we saw Goku, and the enemies kind of look like that. Yeah, it definitely is. So we'll fly out of here and go south and see if there's something else. Did you get enough money for the new van you need, right? Yeah, I definitely did. Um, I've had the van now for about a couple months. I mean, I haven't been streaming, so obviously you wouldn't have known. But uh, yeah, um, was able to get a van, a new van for a cheaper price, so that was really good. Um, it's a 2017 van, almost new. It's about, it had about about 9,000 miles on it so <coughs> and it has a ramp everything that I really needed so yeah it was all good you appreciate it everybody that shared it and follow the story and this and that I think this is our home man yeah this has to be our home so uh, there's nowhere to really train yet it's because of bad yeah it was actually someone so the story is that um, we were looking for a van, and uh, we were actually moving soon. So my mom went out with her friend to go and have lunch, and they saw a couple. Uh, the guy was handicapped as well, and um, they were selling the van. Um, yeah, what's the city hall thing? Okay, this is part of the mission. Anyways, uh, long story short, found a couple. They were selling the van. They sold it to us for twenty thousand, 
and uh, I was able to to purchase it, saving up money. Uh, half of it was money that I got from you guys and from streaming and stuff like that, and working. The other half was from uh, the first season of Street Fighter League. So, shout outs to Punk and JB for helping me get a man. Uh, we, uh, or I can't. We can't. Why not? <coughs> I was wrestling sharks and one of them bit my leg. It hurts too much to walk. Yeah, it was pretty cheap to be honest. So I was uh, pretty lucky to get it at that price. Uh, the pain comes and goes. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what is this guy near? Someone has to get the key to the city, otherwise her day will be an absolute failure. Um, I don't know where the key is actually. Well, let me talk to everybody here. See if I get an idea. I don't know much about that. Someone smell okay. Huh? Not a good day to do. Okay, so these guys don't give me any help. So the city key. Oh, okay. We just have the key. Come outside. Oh, that old man must have got it. Duh. Stop that old man. <laughs> so this is kind of like a mission to follow him and see where he goes. So that's good. Oh no. <coughs> so I believe this is where the gang. There's like a gang that lives here. And I think that old man is going there. So let's go find this gang or see where this old man is taking us. Hopefully, I level up soon, too. An old man just came through here and scaled the wall. He was so quick, couldn't even get a hand on him. The mayor has asked to, us to open the gate so that you can help catch him. Uh, so we sent a little kid to get us. Alrighty. Well, the gun's about. I think 10 years old at this time, maybe 11. So, let's see how we do, guys. Let's see how we do. Alright, got people with bazookas, so we have to watch out with them. And we got to level 10. Let's go. I do have a bunch of capsules for power ups, but. I don't know when to use them, I'm kind of just... Like, unless I get bodied. Or if I am getting bodied, then I would use it. But for now, I'm just gonna wait. <coughs> oh no. Oh no! Wow, those these guys actually give a lot of experience, so probably farming here will be... Pretty good. Yeah, so we'll probably get to like around 15. Um, I mean, you can just see how much experience I get. It's so much. These rocks. I have a high percent of giving me items, some, whether it's health or energy, so that's good. Well. Yeah, usually when you find these kind of uh, enemies, they give a lot of experience, you want to farm them. Uh, the only thing I don't remember is if characters get the same amount of experience, like if they level the the same amount as as like my highest one. I don't think they do though. I think you can like leave one alone and they'll be level like five or whatever. Oh no.
You see that strat? This just went right through the missile, so cool. <coughs> Alright, I came from the right side, so let's see if there's anything new here up north. Oh, there is that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up one more time before I fly over there. Just in case they're flying to a boss fight or something. Um, so you can just go in and out. Uh, enemies seem to appear in the same spot all the time. Alright, cool. Alright. So yeah, they, they definitely give out a lot of experience here. It's crazy. Um, should I do one more? I'm gonna do one more level up. <clears throat> it's just like I could keep I could keep going, but it's just good XP. Should give me enough if I come back here. Maybe not enough. We'll see. Ooh, there you go. Good. Just enough. Just enough. There is this bug. All right. <clears throat> Let's see where we go. I'm pretty sure after a while they don't give you enough, they don't give you experience, but I don't want to test that right now. Okay, there's a house here. Uh, there's a save point, so let's go ahead and save it real quick. Uh, I might switch to pick low and try to level up here, but I think we'll be okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything behind this house. Um, I remember there's a spot that you can go behind. A building, but I don't remember. So, where is this old man? Robert, yeah, I was the one who stole the key to the city, but I have a good reason. Yeah, I bet. No, I'm serious. See, the reason I stole it was because Herco doesn't deserve it. He claims that he defeated the warlord. He didn't. Day in, day in and day out, that crazy warlord's men were marching around the forest. It was driving me batty. I'd been living here for 30 years, and there was no way I was going to let these punks ruin my home. So I went out to the warlord tied out and I went totally medieval on them. Wham bam, karate chop to the neck. And then the next thing I know is that Hercule guy is taking the credit for what I did. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, Alright, you can take it back. Where did I put that thing? Oh, man, I don't know. In the fridge? No. In the cabinet? No. Oh, I remember now. It's in the cave in, out in the wilderness. The cave is protected by magic charm. I'll do the charm for you. I do not know where this cave is. So we're gonna have to go look for this cave. There, the charm is gonna run. I'll take the key and leave me alone. Okay. I mean, you know, this man didn't do anything wrong. You know, like obviously he took the key, but I mean, Hercule is. Uh, he does do that. He does take credit for people, right? Uh, maybe some hermits are social butterflies, gallivanting around making friends. But I'm the type of hermit that doesn't like talking to people. <laughs> That's kind of like a little shot too. Uh, <clears throat> to her, uh, not her guild, to Master Roshi. Plus three endurance. That's pretty good. <coughs> so there's no cave here. At least I don't think so, no. So, <coughs> we're gonna have to go look for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Some secret guy over here? What the? There's something over here. Uh, sometimes these missile guys, <laughs> they just go all out. It's always just smart to just go like in an angle against them so they won't be able to counter you or anything. So yeah, the cave was by a wall to the 
left side, so I have to look for like a wall. Um, kind of like a mountainside. Uh, I'm gonna keep going to the right, because I don't think to the left is... Is it here? There it is! Need one more level up? Alright, good, 16. So let's keep going, whoa! Man, I got the key! the city, is there anything else here? Can't break these boxes. Uh, can't break these barrels. Alright, I think we're good. So, like, the, the cool thing about this game is that <clears throat> it's very important to actually <clears throat> to level up everybody because there are areas in this game that you have to be at a certain level with a certain uh, person So it's not about uh, Playing just one character the whole time Like you will like if you really want to complete this game 100% You're gonna end up having to play as Piccolo as Vegeta, you know Whenever their stories come up, so It's important. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, you gotta go around. Right, let's see what this guy says. Kidman man, thank you for saving me. I've been here by the warlord's men for a long time. Uh, now, I cleared out a lot of those henchmen. There should be a safe path for you. Oh, thanks heavens. I'm forever in your debt. Here, take this. I grabbed one of those henchmen. Oh, okay, cool. Cra uh, gold capsule. I didn't even know we had to save them. I just literally got saw them and was like, let me go talk to them. No idea that we, had to, we actually had to save them, but... A good thing that I did. And it doesn't seem like anyone's here, so I don't know what happened to the world unless that man did really beat him. Um, I still got a good enough amount of experience, but we won't linger here too long. We'll just try to clear the road and. Get back the way. Uh, I don't think there's any here. Alright, we should be back. We'll save it. Try not to save it too many times just because. Let me see what's, if there's anything over here. Though I do think I looked. Alright. Uh, so now I gotta go back to the mayor's office, which I know we went right and then like up and then to the right, I think. I believe. <coughs> well, it could be right here. It is right here. Nice. You got the keypad, thank you. Now we can finish the ceremony. Wait, I have something to say. Virgil didn't say the. No time for that. I have to get on a plane to Orange City and Orange Star City in 15 minutes. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to encourage me on the city of Call of Duty. I present to you Hercule, the key to West City. Well, Gohan, I think it's time to get out of here and start our real training. Goku's waiting for us back home. I'm just gonna like, alright. So yeah, like Gohan, does, I mean Piccolo does kind of like live with these guys now, at least during the training. So it's like that. Um, let's see, what's over here? Northern. So the cool thing about this game, I mean I don't know how cool it is, but you can just go through the map and up here on the other side. So this is basically how <laughs> how the world works. Um, and uh, it's like a small shortcut, so I don't go across the other way. Alright, East District. 
Oh wow, it just it kinda just flew on its own. I didn't I did not do that. <laughs> hey guys, did you have a good time in West City? I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> so we have three years to train dead? That's right, and we could make th we better make them count. So this is pretty much the time skip that's gonna happen. Um training um, for the androids go on is achieved level 17 Ooh, one level more three years I got one level go on can now use the Masenko Ha it's about time to head to a memo island this is the day that the boy predicted the androids would arrive best Roshi also said has some new skills to teach you guys be sure to pay them a visit when you have the chance. I'm ready. So yeah, I, I, I made a mistake. Gohan was 8 when we started this game, so now he's 11. Um, so, if I switch the button to this, I can do the Masenko Ha. I can charge it and let it go. Uh, if I just tap it, it does a little one. But it also goes uh, shorter distance. The longer I hold it, the further it goes, right? See that? So well, it's pretty good uh, for like you know a group of um, enemies I can attack with against or whatever. So that's good. <coughs> All right. So the next thing we need to do is go to. Well, Membo Island is right here, or no, not right here, but this is Master Roshi's Island. I didn't know it was that close to Master Roshi's. Everybody know who knows who this uh, character is? Uh, Marin. Marin is the first girlfriend of Krillin. Um, yeah, she's just dating Krillin in this arc. She's kind of an airhead, so. Master Roshi said my Krillin was looking for a red ribbon, I bet that's for me. Oh, Krillin. And yeah. So we're here in Master Roshi's island. He's the one that taught Goku how to fight and to Krillin. Now he kind of just like houses all these guys that wanna not be in the fight. You know, I may be old, but I am a martial arts master. I bet, bet I could teach you a thing too. For example, I bet you don't know the super kick technique. To do super kick technique, hold A button and allow it to charge. When it's that button is charged, let the A button go to do a powerful kick. So basically. I'll try to do it outside. I don't know if I can do it here. Actually, let me go look into Master Roshi's room for maybe a gold capsule or something. Uh, the whole thing about Master Roshi is he is a bit of a pervert. Um, always uh, looking at young women and stuff. So that's why Marin's here. He's allowed her to stay. And this is the super kick. So a lot of times I'll do and then super kick them out. Does a lot of damage too. So that's really good. <coughs> Alright, so now let's head over to this island um, where Trunks had told uh, Goku where the androids would be. Um, and here's the whole crew. Hey, you're late. What took you so long, Gohan? The androids are going to be arriving any minute. So this is it. I suppose I'm ready as of now as I'll ever, I'm ever going to be. I just wish things didn't have to be this way. I hope you don't think I'm nuts for asking, but what's with the deal with the baby, Boma? Is he your son, Yamcha? He's not my kid. Well, if you think that's a shock, just wait. Wait until she tells you who the father really is. I bet it's Vegeta, isn't it? Right, Trunks? So this is kind of like a, you know, you can probably say it. Because it happened, he didn't have to know. And Bubba's like, now who told you that, Goku? I was trying to keep it a secret. I was going to surprise you guys. And so everybody's like, Vegeta's the dad? Like, crazy. Uh, well, actually, I just thought I'd take a guess. I mean, he kind of looks like Vegeta. But you guessed his name, too. Yeah, what are the chances of that, huh? Maybe I'm psychic. Outrageous. Who would have guessed Bubba and Vegeta? And while we're on the subject, where is Vegeta? I have no clue. I really haven't seen him around much lately. 
I know he was training to come here, but well, with the baby and all, I guess I must have lost track of him. Well, that makes sense. He'll show up. He wouldn't miss a fight. So yeah, Piccolo's not, uh, Vegeta's not here. He's training, basically, to become a Super Saiyan. Uh, if only we had more time. I feel like there's so much more I could have done to prepare. Could have gone faster. Could have gone stronger. This is the city Trunks told me about. I didn't even know the city existed. There are a lot more people here than I thought. And I left Shao Tzu with Master Roshi. To be honest with you, I didn't think the little guy stood much of a chance out here. So yeah, and now here's Mad Mad Roby. Uh Did you come help us fight one of the androids? You know, no way, I just brought Set to be from Corrin. As soon as those androids arrive, I'm out of here. If you guys want to stay and get yourselves killed, that's your own business. So yeah, he's like the chicken of the, of the crew, but it's all good. He does give us sensor beans and they do give us health, so it's all good. Uh, don't you think it's a bit strange? It's already 10 o'clock and there isn't even a sign of these androids. I can't believe we listened to that guy, Android. Just a good one. Don't be so literal. It's only 1017. I just I wouldn't jump the gun just yet. Sorry to spoil you, Bulba, but the androids just aren't coming. Whoa, what was that? You guys, it's the androids. I see them. I did too, but where did they go? I'm not sure. One second they were here, and then poof, they just vanished. I didn't even sense their power levels. Well, they are androids, aren't they? So maybe we can't. That's crazy. How are we supposed to find them if we can't sense where they are? Well, if we can't sense the power levels, we'll just have to find them the old fashioned way with our eyes. Now remember, when you find the androids, don't try to take them on yourself. Wait for the others. <coughs> so the way it happens in the anime is a little different. Um, Yajiro comes to the group and has a bag of sensu beans, gives it to the group, says, "I'm out of here. Uh, if you guys want to fight and get killed, uh, that's your pro that's your business." So he gets on the ship and leaves. And then one of the androids destroys the ship. And um, so everyone thinks the android really died, but um, Gohan went and flew and, and saved them. And so that's where Piccolo sees them. And they disappear into the city. So they all go to the city and uh, said, Yeah, like, if you see them, don't fight them. We'll fight them. Like, just call the group or whatever. And. The, the thing they're worried about is they don't know what they could look like. They didn't. Uh, the problem that Trunks did is he didn't explain what they look like. Uh, they're supposed to be a man, a, a, a girl, like twins. Uh, but these are completely new set of androids, not the same ones. So yeah, in the anime, Yamcha's the first one to catch, get to him. Uh, tries to fight him and gets killed. Well, he doesn't really try to fight him. He tries screaming for the group, but gets bodied. Uh, take it back to Bulma and give him one of the sounds as fast as you can. Yeah, I'm on it. Uh, this is already different because there's supposed to be... Wait, was it? Maybe it was supposed to be him. Because I know Gohan saves Azurobi. But I know Gohan saves Tien or Yamcha as well. I don't remember. Uh, well, now I find it surprising that you should know we are androids. Of course, I find it even more surprising that you have anticipated our arrival on this island. <clears throat> Tell me, how did you know we would come? If you're so tough, why don't you make us? Very well. <coughs> there are way too many innocent people around here. We have to lead them away from the city. Yes, I agree. It's way too crowded here. Too many people can get in our way. I'll see to it that they do not. No. Uh, so yeah, he very much destroyed the city. I clear the area of innocence in accordance with your wishes. Do you disagree with my methods? You lead these people out of this. There are no people left to leave out. Very well. You may lead us to another place of your choosing, Goku. What? How did you know his name was Goku? I know all of you, the Namek Piccolo, and even you, the one named Tien. Let's get acquainted later. Follow me. Meanwhile, 
and the deep reaches of space. So this is where Vegeta is. And that's its theme, you can tell. Pretty good. In the Game Boy Advance sounds. Uh, until Kakarot came into the picture, I was the greatest Saiyan alive. Kakarot's success is like a demon in my head. How can he be a Super Saiyan when I, the Prince of all Saiyans, am not? When I was a child, my father told me stories of the legendary Super Saiyan who were so strong that no one could defeat him. How can this Kakarot, this Goku, and his, as his friends call him, how can he do what I cannot? I am the world elite. He's nothing but a low-born peasant. Why can't I obtain what Kakarot has, has attained? Or why can, can't I obtain what Kakarot has attained? It's weird to say. That doesn't make any sense. I'm, I have been training so hard. I've given it all I have and more. So you can control Vegeta for a little bit. I don't care about the Super Saiyan. Over there. And you get to like practice what a Super Saiyan feels like. Super Saiyan is a special form that gives you a temporary increase in power. Use the light L button to select the Super Saiyan form icon. Then press B to activate the mode. Pressing B again will, just, will allow you to revert to your normal form. Super Saiyan form can only be activated when the yellow triangle on the left side of your status bar is full. Super Saiyan form lasts for a limited amount of time, so use it wisely. I have to get back to Earth. So that's a Super Saiyan form. This is his like little blast. I think that's his big bang attack. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just see if there's anything around here. I don't think so. We're literally just on a asteroid. <clears throat> that's such a like crappy way of just using Vegeta Vegeta's name, but whatever. Those androids must be here now. I doubt if Kakarot and the others gave them the introduction they deserve. I don't know what level Vegeta is. After the Namics left here for new Namics, several of them were left behind. If you happen to meet any Namic in your travel, please tell them to come back here. We're organizing, we're organizing a trip to new Namics so they can be reunited with their families. Uh, that doesn't happen in the anime, but they do show up at Earth for a little bit. Um, but they don't really get to spend time there. I want to see what that other spot is. Oh, the other spot is a new Amembo. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually just level up Vegeta one time, and then I'll come back here. I do want to test out. Uh, I want to see what ex what level he is. Uh, I believe he's like like around Gohan's level, maybe 16, 17, but I could be mistaken. So I'm gonna see if there's any enemies here that you guys will get to see some Super Saiyan fight. Now the problem with Super Saiyan like the game said is that it does waste energy. So once my energy is out, I can't use it anymore. And I have to go to Master Roshi soon, so. Alright. Yeah, he seems a lot stronger than Gohan, so I'll just try to fight. But if you get some energy, you get it. You get to keep it on for a little longer. Yeah. But you can see my energy is already falling. No. So yeah, you get a good boost of energy and power. Ok, 
Okay, good. So I'm about to like, level up, so I'm gonna go back and try to level up. I'm gonna turn it off for now because. Okay, so Vegeta's level 19. So, yeah. that's good. Trying to get, oh, I think I got hit by that bazooka. All right, so we're gonna. Oh my god! Won't save it yet. So we're gonna try to go back to the world map thing, which should be up one, and then the mayor's city, sh uh, city should be around here. All right, and we're gonna go first. We're gonna go to Master Roshi's, um, basically because we need that charge attack, just to make everyone equal. Uh, it is the annoying part that special attacks you can't learn one, and then everybody, everybody has to come to Master Roshi. You know, I may be old, but uh, he says the same thing. Get out of my way. And there's a double smash attack, so that's good. It just does a good amount of damage. Actually, I should uh, scout everybody. Scout analysis can't detect any brain waves. Perhaps the scouter's malfunctioning? Yes. That's the whole play. She's just really stupid. Very attractive character, but very dumb. This guy's named Oolong. He does like what Par does as a shapeshifter. Um, but yeah, he's a pig, but he can talk. Uh, that's a lot of characters in this anime. Is that they, it's kind of like humans live with animals in a way. Um, they don't really integrate with each other, but animals can talk and take human things and so on. Uh, Master Roshi, also referred to as the Turtle Hermit, is a martial artist master who has trained many great martial arts. Well, he trained he trained Krillin, uh, Goku, and Yamcha. Uh, Alright, so let's get to where uh, the battles are. Now this is kind of weird, but I think it's kind of like in the background. Uh, in the anime, yeah, Vegeta's not there in the beginning. He is training, um, but he he just appears uh, like late in the fight and then has the flashback. So basically, we, re we re uh, relive the flashback and are now like basically where he's going to appear soon. So we have to get to the fight, <coughs> which he's already there, but uh, the fight hasn't started yet. This is far. This is far enough. We will fight here. Before we get this show started, I want to know how you knew our names. Cough, cough. Yes, of course, as you wish. You've been under close observation for some time by a highly sophisticated remote tracking device. This device was calibrated to hone in on your very distinct energy patterns and was planted on you during the World Martial Arts Tournament when you were still a boy. From that day forward, your every move was monitored, your fighting techniques were studied, and secrets of your Kamehameha wave were revealed. You were studied until Dr. Dro had gathered enough information to create the perfect fighting machines. Powerful machines fully capable of destroying you the way you destroyed Dr. Dro's Red Ribbon Army. I'm curious, <coughs> was he spying on me while I was fighting on Namek? 
There was no need. By that time, Dr. Jiro had compiled all the necessary information for skills. You might think you know everything about me, but really you're not even close. Did your calculus predict that Goku would become a Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. So yeah, this is part of the anime uh, storyline. They followed him when he was a kid to now, uh, or until Namek. So basically, Namek was like the big change, the big boost of energy that they didn't see. So they tried to calculate what they could be, and they weren't even close to what they could be. So Goku's like so much stronger than they they thought. Android 19, this is technique is not listed in my files, 20. Nor in mine, but my sensors indicate that there's no cause for concern. Yes, it's most impressive ability, but nothing we can handle. 19 will demonstrate this by himself. Alright, have it your way, but I wouldn't bank on it if I were you. So these guys are hitting me hard. Hello. <laughs> At least I got some damn health. Oh my god, these guys are hitting me, man. Jesus. I mean, Vegeta has a lot of endurance, so it's not like I don't think they'll they'll kill me before I level up. Uh, it's still kind of scary, so let me just level up before I get there. Now I'm sure there's a secret. There's some things I have to do here um, before I get to Goku, but okay, here's a save point. I will save it just in case. Uh, doesn't seem I need to go here. Uh, Tiger Bandit. This is a member of the notorious Tiger Bandit gang. Very wanted on many counts, thievery, pillaging, money, laundering, kidnapping, and general mayhem. Alright, so nothing over here. Um, I don't know if I can destroy this or not. I think I have to. Well, I, okay, there we go. So basically, I have to destroy every enemy before I can go up here. I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go left, and I'm going to see if I can find anything. Okay, that was a tougher beetle. Because again, I want to... Ah, oh, about to level up. It could be like Namek's. Alright, I've achieved 20. Right. Okay, I think this is where I first started, so. So I need to try to get some energy because I think I'm going to fight. Alright, so at least we now know that... Um, where to go. Hopefully I get some energy. I got one there. Got some here. This 
Might be okay. Okay, so the room that has the field or has the block uh, energy field, I guess. If you destroy it once, you don't have to come back and fight him again. So I think this. Kind of thought that we would fight the boss already, but I guess not. Um, there's a path over here. So let's go this way first. We found a golden capsule, so that's good. And we're about to level up another time, so that's good. Uh, just so we can be extra prepared for the final fight. I'll go up there in a bit. See what's up here. I want to see what's up. Okay. So as you can see, that these guys are already started the fight. A little annoyed, but whatever. And Goku's all over that thing. He's dominating. There's no way that Android can win. He hasn't even touched him yet. Goku's got this in the bag, maybe. What's happening? Dad, something's wrong. I feel so weak, can't give up. He must be hurt really bad, but how? It must be that virus that's attacking his heart right now, Father. Yes, that's it, but it's happening much later than the boy from the future said it would. Goku just thought he made a mistake, but somehow his visit has already changed history. He needs to have the antidote, but we have to get back home to get it. The only way. Goku's changed back. He's not a Super Saiyan anymore. Ah, yes, yeah, perfect. Goku needs help. Let's move in. You will stay where you are. This is, of course, unless you are foolish enough to believe you can get past me. Nobody kills Kakarot while I'm around. Destiny has reserved that pleasure for me. You're pitiful, Kakarot. You were warned about the vir heart virus and turning into Super Saiyan just made it worse. You'll never be a great warrior. One of you needs to take Kakarot home right now and give him the antidote. I better do it. Sad to say, but if I stick around here any longer, I'll just get in the way. I will finish Vegeta now, yes? You are very greedy today, 19. Very well, you finished Vegeta. <laughs> but the rest are mine, understand? Yes. So usually the hard part is to become Super Saiyan. I should have became Super Saiyan before this, but it's okay. I think he might do it first. Oh no, he doesn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it again. It does take a while. That or that triangle has to be up <laughs> to do it. Yeah, but I already beat them all. Like, that was like the last thing I remember. 
And we did it. So one small thing uh, before I continue this story, uh, the androids have this ability to absorb energy. Uh, there's a little jewel that's in their hands, or in their hands, that allows them to absorb key energy. In the anime, Goku fights the 19, and um, he, it's just like how this game plays out. He does start winning in the beginning, he starts dominating, the 19 couldn't do anything to him. But then the hard fire starts kicking in. The biggest problem is that uh, Goku gets frustrated and tries to end the fight. And they tell him about the energy absorption because Yamcha told him that they can absorb energy. So Goku kind of did listen. And through a big commitment wave, they absorb the energy. And he becomes... Uh, the Android gets stronger because he absorbed it. So he was able to defeat Goku. Plus the heart virus defeated the Goku. Um, when Vegeta gets here, he actually rips 19 hands away uh, before he kills him because he want he doesn't he doesn't want him to absorb his energy attack. So um, in this one, it's more punching and kicking, but in the anime, there's more uh, brutal scenes where, where how Vegeta destroys him. I really wish there was a junkyard to give you a proper. So you know, like. The whole story about Vegeta is he is a prince. He's, he's very prideful. That's his big weakness. Um, and so when Goku beat up, he kind of humbled him a little bit. Uh, made him feel inferior. And was very angry for a long time. But now that he's reached this Super Saiyan power, he's kind of like big-headed again. And says he's the best. He's the strongest in the universe. So it's kind of a thing uh, with him. <coughs> you are a bit stronger than I anticipated, Vegeta. Uh, but it's nothing I can't handle. Your defeat is imminent. Yeah, that's the whole story about Dragon Ball. So Goku's not never really there until the actual like fight, fights and stuff like that. So, uh, kind of one thing I didn't like about Cell Saga is that Goku's literally not in the in the series for like half of it. Uh, he's sick and he stays sick until like the end almost so let me ask you this what makes you think you you're going to do any better than him you're an android too full and far superior to the android ID's model is that bring you out if this is like a trifle to a unit like me it's a trifle to you okay the most thing you ever did was make trunks down <laughs> you're bluffing show me what you've got Going after him. Don't bother following me. You're not needed anymore. You should go home where it's safe. You'll only get in the way. So he's just like I said. He's just acting a bit t high and mighty. Uh, another factor of why Vegeta's like this is because Vegeta's whole life, Frieza was there, and Frieza basically ruled the Saiyans. Nobody could touch Frieza. Frieza was invincible. Nobody was even close to his power. So Vegeta had to respect them. As much as Vegeta had all this pride of saying, and he always thought maybe he could one day beat Frieza, he did it. Goku did. So it kind of like hurt his pride a lot, knowing that fact. But now that Frieza's gone, Vegeta's kind of like, well, if I could just beat Goku or Kakarot, I'm the strongest again. So, you have to think about that. Good riddance. That guy is the biggest jerk. I have to agree with you, but he's a genius when it comes to fighting. Never seen a power quite like his before. It's just amazing. So what do we do now? Vegeta's probably will never allow him to admit it. We might need our help. Vegeta's all probably looking for the android in the mountains as we speak. Let's find him. So right now it's Piccolo. Yeah, this this uh this is part of his hat that hides the brain of Doctor Zero. It's kind of dumb. So yes, uh, the, the the dumbest thing is. Goku fought Dr. Jiro, but doesn't remember who he is. Uh, this android is Dr. Jiro. He actually created himself, turned himself into the android. So, yeah. Now, I might have to be careful with Piccolo, because he is a little low-leveled. <coughs> but it's okay, we're going to try to level him up a little bit.
Yeah, unfortunately, I can't hit him with key blast. Cause he'll. Oh. Oh, I might have to restart. What's the last time I say before the fire right, with Vegeta? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Piccolo's kind of weak right now, so it's kind of hard. Um, I thought I could do it, but I guess not. And I can't even pick uh, Freezer, or I can't even pick um, uh, Piccolo right now, so it kind of sucks. But it's okay. We're good about to fight. We're about to fight him, so. We're not too far off. I'm just gonna level up one time. Should be enough to fight. Uh... Wait, didn't I get like a golden capsule to the left? Shit. I think I found. Uh... It might be up there, but I don't want to risk it. Let's go back. I think it's up there. I, I want to say it's up there. Alright. I may level up again, but I doubt it. There's a lot. I don't think I want to run it. If anything, I'll force myself to level up. I believe it's over here. Here it is. So yeah, we're gonna just try to level up one time and then we'll fight. <laughs> it makes this game really enjoyable as the music. Like, it's kind of like if I'm watching the anime, just playing it, now, you know. And there's also like some cool stuff on the side. It's not just a one, you know, an exact one-to-one -one of the of the show. There's different uh, parts to it, so that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna try to level up. Fight. I'm gonna turn Super Saiyan and then go, so 
I gotta be Super Saiyan already. And this is like the crazy thing about this scene is that Vegeta's already supposed to be Super Saiyan. He's not. I mean, like, this is supposed to be like a big reveal. Is that, oh, he's Super Saiyan, you know? I can't believe he joined the, the Super Saiyan Club, and now it's like. Nobody really says anything. I wish there was a skip button, guys, but there's not, so. Uh, it's gonna be a little tough because of uh, Piccolo's low level. But I'm gonna try to be a little bit safer. And if I have to, I'll take the sense of being and all that stuff. Um, it just gets hard because once they bounce pretty far, it's hard to like hit them and you know they could hit me back. So it's kind of it's kind of hard. That's the cool thing about charge attack is that you can let your opponent come in and when he walks in he'll go you can release and it'll hit them and restart it. So that's kinda like a really good tactic for later on. Alright. Um what I might do, I think I can go south uh, with Piccolo. So I think I'm gonna go and just level up maybe like three levels. Shouldn't take that long because he's so low level compared to everybody else. Um, so I should be okay to like level up some and then come and fight. Um, like technically I could get out of here and go to Masaroshi's, but I won't do that. I won't go that far. Alright, so. Oh yeah, I should level up. I'm trying to find out what's the best way to level up, but at the end of that level up where those four tigers are over and over. But, uh, it's fast, I guess I went to the follow up again. How is it going, my man? Hope you're enjoying some some Dragon Ball. Piccolo does have the spirit uh, special beam, so I'll try doing it. Pretty good. It's a pretty good attack. I don't know. It's pretty good. Uh, I need some health though. I think down here is the dangerous part, but we'll, I'll try not to risk it too much. Okay, we got some turkeys. So that's good. Oh, so scary. That was so scary, but it's okay. Well, we're gonna level up over here because this is where you can level up the most. So I'm gonna try to get everyone together.
Yeah, the best way, best way to do it. Uh, it's to level up from here, so we're gonna try doing that. This is good, good, good. Good XP, guys. Good XP. What's over here? Did I ever come here? No. Yeah, 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 see? I didn't even see that and I got a golden capsule for it. Too good. <clears throat> Alright. I'm good. I'll just, you know, fight where I see him. Try to level up. Hold on, because it's uh, there's no enemies getting to Doctor Zero, so. Should be good enough. The, next, the last two enemies here should give me enough XP. <clears throat> there you go. So this should be good enough. <coughs> if anything, I'll, I'll just, like I said, um, I'll uh, eat a set to me. But I think I'll sh I think I'll be all right. I mean, I was one last time. And I was like level thirteen, so I should be okay. I'll even save it. All right, so we'll we'll be safe. But yeah, I don't think I have uh, any way. Uh, I don't have any way of um, leveling or um, I just didn't want to spend too much time. Leveling out too much. <laughs> Funny when the scouter has his hat, hat on. This being an exact visual match of the notorious scientist Dr. Rowe, however, further, further analysis of this being reveals that it's an advanced cybernetic organism. The android's body is purely mechanical, however, the being's brain is organic. This android is equipped with an energy absorbing device. Capable of extracting energy from organic beings. Dr. Jiro is a fugitive from the law and extremely dangerous. What's the chief scientist, the Reverend Harbin? And I lost her. Oh my. Actually, I'm gonna try to. No! No! Well, at least I saved it. I saved it right here. Man. <coughs> Dr. Joe is not supposed to be this strong, but... 
We're kind of learning, guys. We're kind of learning. The thing I hate is I don't have the charge attack. I, I should have got it when I was Piccolo. Well, it's okay. Alright. And the other thing is I can't hit him with energy attack, so... Oh man, this is gonna be tough. This guy is not taking any damage. This guy is not taking any damage. Uh, I don't know. I used Piccolo to go to Mount. Oh, I can switch. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna man up. If I lose like two more times, I'll go back to Vegeta. So this, this kind of shows you guys, like, this is why it's important to level up everybody. Uh, I mean, he's not, like, super under level, but... Dr. Zero is kind of strong. Alright, I got some health back. <laughs> Man, this is so hard. No, no, so close. No, that was it. Oh, so close. What up, so? Maybe we're gonna hop on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'll try one more time, and then we'll uh, we'll let Vegeta take over with his Super Saiyan powers. Like, you see that? Like, dude, like, why couldn't I hit him through the tree and he can hit me in the tree? Uh, we'll try, we'll try, we'll try, and then I'll go, I'll go with you, I'll go with you. I want it to be the lore. The lore is <laughs> Piccolo beats him. And I want to go low like two more times. Well, maybe I, maybe I have to, but. <clears throat> Should be fine. Oh, I almost did that right. Alright. 
Let's not get hit first. We bought him. Yeah, he didn't take all his life. I, f I forgot. <coughs> it was just a, yeah, just a small hiccup. Small hiccup. But yeah, Piccolo could beat him. Beats him in it. What a waste of technology. I don't understand. My data indicates that your abilities could not have improved this much. Your data may have been accurate if we hadn't been warned about your arrival three years ago, before you got here. In other words, we've been preparing for you. Hey guys, look, Trunks is here. Trunks, how bizarre! That guy has the same name as <clears throat> my son. Should have known a super saiyan from the future. Of course, it has to be. He's my son. Unbelievable. Now what? Not another one. I don't have any data on this one. What's going on here? I made far too many errors in my calculations. What's going on here? This isn't one of the androids from my future. This one is different. What? How can he not? How can he be different? I'm not sure. This is mind-boggling. Maybe history changed, and it changed the appearance of the androids. Either that, or this is just the first generation. There are more on the way. Enjoy your short-lived victory while you're able, or I will unleash Android 17 and 18 to destroy you all. 17 and 18. I think that android was Doctor Jero. Doctor Jero, how can you possibly know a thing like that? I know what I saw of Vegeta. I've seen him in his pictures before in one of my dad's science magazines. It was a picture of that old guy, and another thing in big bold letters said Dr. Jero. You told us a pack of lies, curse you, boy. You said Dr. Jero was destroyed by the androids he created. You didn't tell us he turned himself into one. The timeline, as I know it, it must have changed when I traveled to from the future. I mean, I was afraid this was going to happen, but it was a calculated risk I had to take. What if those androids that Dr. Jero mentioned are the ones that you know? Do you know? Do the androids in your timeline absorb energy like these? The first two? No, they didn't need. They don't need to. The energy lasts forever. <coughs> That's rather they have to run out of energy sometime. Hey, how come Goku isn't here right now? Well, he came down with that weird high virus. He went home to get that energy that you gave him. Can't believe history slipped this stuff. Well. So yeah. So when? Well, okay, so Trunks came in and you can't believe history changed as much. When he fought the androids, there were boys and girls. These guys are old. Um, Goku got the heart virus a lot later. But there's a reason to all this. and We'll, we'll wait till later to, to reveal that. Alright, let's go find that lab. So we're going to stick my pickle up for a bit. This time around, I didn't have to use any um, healing or whatever, so it's all good. Yo, what up, old English? How you doing, man? Thank you so much. I can't believe that the lab is that far, but whatever. What's over here? Oh, no, the waste suns. What's over here, then? Oh. I'm getting all like, because there's so many more checkpoints to go to that I keep thinking, or landmarks that I keep thinking they're new, but they're not. Oh, I should have gotten the Master Roshis. Whatever. Alright, so when Gohan's level 25, I can come up here. So that should be soon, so I have to remember. Happy Friday. Well, yeah, there's still 30 minutes left to, or to you know, 
before Friday, so... Oh no, before Friday ends, I guess, yeah. Alright, so this is a good experience. So I'm gonna come back here real quick and just clear these... These ways, like, maybe two times and then... Right when I level up to 20, we'll continue on our trip. Oh, they're gone! Okay, never mind. Sometimes they, 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 don't, they respawn, sometimes I guess they don't. So we'll leave it at that. trying to level up before uh, I don't think we'll fight anyone but never know yeah what up you turn they come back I think I killed him Alright, cool. Why well, playing R6? Resident Evil 6? Or Rainbow 6? I'm gonna think I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Resident Evil 6 though. Oh, I have to be level 30 with Piccolo to come over here. Uh I don't know if I wanna level up that much, but alright. Rainbow said, oh, I was wrong, all right. You know what, I think... <laughs> if it was Red Evil 6, it would have been RE6, right? I think, I think I'm... I goofed it there. It's, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. But I found a capsule. What's up, Super Scott? You're trying to find my secret lab, aren't you? If you find it, you'll never get inside. Oh boy. Okay, okay, we beat him, we beat him, we beat him, oh my god. Yeah, this game is yeah, pretty old, man, yeah, pretty old. Hopefully you remember how this game plays. This just follows the Cell Saga to a T. I'm gonna save it. I know I'm not using Gohan or Vegeta, but it's okay. We're leveling up Piccolo for a bit. Only go through the loud through this barrier. Okay, well, can't go there. Right, let me break this. Uh, see if I can get some health. So I think we have to fight Doctor Zero like a couple more times. I think like two more times. So this is pretty good. Yeah, the grinding in this is pretty crazy. Hey Piccolo, looks like this energy barrier is being supplied by three generators in this area. The only way to get through here is destroy those generators. 
So we gotta destroy generators, guys. All right. So you do have to be careful, they do explode, so... Uh, luckily I can just throw my energy beam and... Like, yeah, like, punching them up close, and, like, there's no time to get away. Oh, this is for the Game Boy Advance. Like, you gotta know how much... Uh, I mean... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, even with one I know... Okay, I gotta be careful guys because I'm about to die and I'm about to level up too so let's let's take it slow oh no no I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead no I died oh man I mean I saved it I did save it oh dude you die <laughs> I was so close to leveling up too. That's that sucks. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, let me go over here just to get take some experience. All right. We're just gonna play it safe. We're just gonna play it safe. <laughs> All right. Okay, 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 okay. I knew we were gonna fight Dr. Row, I just didn't know where. Stop it. All right, we're gonna keep it safe. Okay, I need a level up, so I'm gonna come back, go in and out. Alright, we should be good to fight Dr. Jero, but damn. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Shit! Alright. Cause we don't need the energy against the drum because we can't. Uh, he absorbs energy, so. We barely beat him. We got some experience, that's good. Jesus Christ. So as you can see, this is where we need Vegeta at level 50, so it's kinda like endgame and stuff right there. I think 50 is the last one. There might be more. Please don't even threaten to kill me. Alright, we're good, we're good. Level 22, level 22. Where's the generators, man? What 
what's up? Pick a little corn center, corn center give you a little gift. Yeah, he always just gives us uh, sense of being, so... Whatever. It's like... <laughs> Thanks, Hatchet. <laughs> uh, but it might be super helpful later down the line. In case I fight Gerard, I'm low and... Some endurance, I think, this endurance. Yeah. Uh, where the heck is the generator? See if there's anything down here. Uh, there's the capsule core. Where are cold the capsule? Let's go. Um, kind of like makes that spike meaningless, unless the, other than the stupid thing that for Vegeta. But I don't really need that right now. Okay, so it's five hits and then I get out. All right, all right. Come. No. So I'm about to level up, so I don't mind wasting a lot of it. <coughs> oh, here we go. Does that take them all out? No, right? It was just one? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, that's pretty dumb if it was all of them. Um. Okay, so that's one generator down. Two more to go. Oh my Jesus. Whatever. No, uh, I don't want to use it, Chad, but I have to. I, I have. Uh, I have to. I have to. I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to use it, but whatever. He was just two hits away. I was. Uh, nah, I had to do it. You may have beat me, but you'll never get to my lab in time. Once I enter seventeen eighteen, you'll pay dearly. I didn't want to use it, but I, I had to. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh no. Okay, I gotta be clay safe. I hope I don't fight Dr. Zero again. I hope I don't fight Dr. Zero. Give me some food.
This is scary, Chad. This is scary. Oh no. Oh no! You gone, heathen. Okay, I need maybe like three or four more robots. Okay, I got enough health. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I want to say two more robots, two more robots, two more robots. Where is this generator thing? Okay. Alright, we, we leveled up, we leveled up, we leveled up. What's up, beekeeper? Thank you, man. Like, I do not know where I am. Look at this! I already killed this, I already defeated this generator. generator. My god, where do I go? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. let me see. Safe pass there. We haven't gone that way, but I don't think I can go that way. That's Vegeta's thing, but maybe I can go that way. Oh, uh, okay, we, ne we have to go right all the way. Okay, all right. Using the map, Billy Giggle. Alright, as much as I want to fight, I got, I'm just trying to get to this stupid thing. Here. Actually, I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to go here. All right, let me let's go back. I don't think it's here. I think it's on the bottom right. I'm trying to get the last four. Yeah, it's over here. It's over here. I don't think I can get up there. Let me, let me see what's up here. Let me see what's up here. There's a weak tiger bandit here. What's going on? Uh, I kind of wish there was a block button, but I don't know. Maybe there is. I'm just bad. Okay, here's another. J oh no! You have to move these eggs, I'm about to blow up the generator and I don't want anyone to get hurt. You want to destroy our home? I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Well, I can't let you do that, I'm not moving. There was a time in my life when I would have destroyed your nest without hesitation. But then I learned that causing pain was no way to live. I'll respect your wishes. I guess I'll have to find another way. Wait, that's not necessary. I will move if you help me out. I was planning on moving to the bottom of this mountain anyway. I will start building a new nest on the heat vent as long as you help me move my eggs. Just place them on the cracks for now and please try not to break them. Oh, so I have to do this one by one. I remember this This is the mission I hated the most. You get one and you cannot... I can't even use the safe yeah, oh, stupid. Myself. So basically I can't get hit by anybody or... Like, I have to just speed run through it. Oh my god. So yeah, like, I cannot get hit by anybody. This mission sucks. I don't even know where to go. Jesus Christ. Oh man, this is gonna suck. I, I don't remember... I can't use any, any items either. Nope. <laughs> Dude, like, you. They run so 
fast. Like, holy. Is there another way out here? Maybe I'm going the wrong way? Nah, I don't think so, right? Oh my Jesus. Dude, like, look at that. There's. <laughs> this is like stupid NFL tackles right here. They just. They just. In your vicinity? Nah, you're done. And it's not like. Oh, what are you doing? Can I. Can I block or something? Like. Oh my god. No. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Look at that! Dude! I know it's what I should be running, but holy shit! Okay, 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 okay. let's see, let's see, let's see. There's no way. And then I bonk on everything. Like. Oh my god. How? Maybe I should become. I might have to be. Be Gohan or something. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the, the enemies move up. Alright, I'm gonna try that. Gonna... Like, how in the hell do you do this? It's not this way either. So, like I'm screwed. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see if Gohan does something better. I don't remember how to do this. No, she's here. Like, there's no way I can do this without getting hit. Like, there's too many. I can't even fight. Like, there's no way. I mean, the mountains are right there, so I think I just have to place it there, but... Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try this again, guys. Holy shit. I think this was easier when I became... Ah, oh, I might become Super Saiyan, actually, and do this. Ah, my god. Oh, okay, 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 I'm gonna just go as Vegeta, and I'm gonna go Super Saiyan, and see if that helps. Damn. It might turn it off because I'm it. Yeah. Okay, okay, we found we found the way, boys. We found the way, but then I gotta lose all this energy. <coughs> okay, we're gonna conserve our energy and then go. Okay, okay. Hopefully, we get enough. Uh... All right, we're good. Alright, alright chat, we got this, we got this. Go super fan. This, this battle always makes me look at where it looks. Alright. I'm just glad that we found the way. 
I think I have enough energy to do this, so let's try it. Alright. No! I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough, guys. I don't think I have enough. Try it again. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to wait till I level up. Man, this is so annoying of a le of, of a quest. Good, but that's not enough, I think. But we'll try it. I have to wait till the triangle gets there. Alright. Alright. Oh my. I'm kinda like playing very, um. What is it? Um. Playing very impatient. But it's okay. I'll get it on this try. It's just like the, the problem is I don't have a lot of energy, so it wastes a lot. So I'm playing in because I'm trying to like get them to come here, then turn. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're good. Jesus. Oh. I'll destroy those generators. And according to the map, the last generator is like kind of where I started. What level did he say? Was it 23 or 25? Because there was a Vegeta one that was 25. Like in the beginning of this, it might be, t it might be twenty-five. All right. Okay, so I have to go back now. Took a lot of damage there. Got to be careful. Chat, I do not want to die. Oh my god.
And there's just a safe point where I have to go oh my god, I need to get to it. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, we got some food. Alright, we should be good. Okay, this should be we should be fine. We should be fine. Here, the other generator. Wait. Is this too far? No, there was none on the left. They were all to the right. Okay, okay, okay. I almost almost mind gained myself. Let's see if I can go down. Okay, we're good. We're, we should be okay. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna switch to actually Gohan. Yeah, he's at level 17. I need to level him up. <clears throat> Everybody else is pretty high level, so. Okay, so we don't need to come over here. This is Goku stuff. So... The only thing I can think of is if there's a spot right there. On the left, there doesn't seem to be anything. Maybe keep going left? There has to be something on the left. Like, there was no... There, it can't be like Dodger Rose there, and there's nothing. So I'm gonna go over to the left. I'm gonna check that out, guys. Me alone. Oh, I thought I died. <laughs> okay, Them Where is that music coming from? Uh oh. There's a party house here? Okay, whatever, we're level 19. Same rocket men that attacked Sensei's Island. I don't know. Nah, Red Ribbon already. Nah. <coughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, that combo's pretty strong with Gohan. Can do some combos and stuff. Alright, we're gonna see what this house is all about. <coughs> figure it out inside the house probably so there is red gray purple yellow green and blue or white blue in this game he's not a nerd all right well, the next one I agree boost fury you're right <coughs> let's see what's in this house <coughs> Vinny's house look okay. Hey there, guy. I'm Vinny. Welcome to my swinging bachelor pad. Take your shoes off and stick around for a while. Loosen up, guy. Don't be like my neighbors. They're totally Squaresville. Okay. <coughs> this guy is living large. Uh, okay. Nothing really on this main. 
So... I don't know if there's anything... I know we have to turn this off, but I don't know what it could be. And Gohan is just destroying this man's house over here, dude. It's crazy. So I can't go this way either. Uh, let's see what the scouter... Yeah, I can't go... It's somewhere here. Wait. What was the... There might be something there, but I don't know. No, that's where the cave is. Um, so I'm gonna try turning them all on and see what happens. Or turn everything off? Wait, that's off. I have no idea what the secret to this place is. It's a green, so it's green, purple, and blue. But the roof is yellow. But there wasn't no yellow. It was yellow. Hmm. Let me look at his house one more time. If any has changed a level cool, that can't be comfort. Ended by mere mortals. Yeah. <laughs> Women love the Vinny and men envy the Vinny. To a huge hep cat, you have to cat have a catch rate. Yeah, so they what is it, jive turkey or time to get down? You like my fine threads guy? They say that the clothes make the man. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there's definitely a lot of purple and blue. Hmm. I just don't know if I have to turn them on or off. Or... <coughs> mm. Pretty sure destroying this. Okay, I'm gonna try some different combinations. If not, we'll leave it. So there was red. So red's on. We'll leave purple on and blue on. And yellow. Those are the colors that I saw, but I don't know if something's supposed to just happen. I wanna say they do. My Leah account got hacked, that's cool. I mean I was using it for Root Terra, but it was alright. Um, so let's turn on green and black. Whatever, I think I'll figure it out later. I'm gonna go level up. What is it? What do you mean? No, Root Terra's a card game. I was just playing it a bit. Something to the side. Some meat. Hold up. Okay, we're not the level up, so we're good. We're just we're, we're good, we're good.
Man, this music is so awful. Okay, we're going around, so that's good. That's all there was is a golden capsule? Come on, no way. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh. I guess I have to figure out what that house has to do. I don't think there's a way to round it. Yeah, it's just blue, purple. Yellow. There's a green door. Maybe that's the order, but would I put yellow first? Blue, purple. Is it blue, purple, green, yellow? Or yellow, purple, yellow, blue, purple, green? Shit, man. Okay, so... Those guys are a little bit more durable. There's nothing on this side, right? No? Okay. out here and I'll go back. I think this is where it came from though. Okay, there we go. I don't see a generator here. And I think that's nuts cause it's like... There has to be something on this side. I wonder if I can use someone else. Like I wonder if I, can, if I use like Vegeta. Alright, we're gonna try that. It's just this. I hate that these <laughs> switches are on. It's literally just Ash doing damage. I'm destined to die every fucking run because right. Rom is stupid. We're gonna try it the first way. So it's purple, blue, yellow, green. Since I have to start with somebody, and since the group is so small, I guess, I guess I'm gonna do. And then green?
Alright, let's try yellow first because it's the roof. Then purple. Then blue. Then green. Then black. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't think that was it either. There's purple. The flamingos. Oh, it's blue first, then purple. Dang it. I really do it that way. Blue. Blue, purple, green, yellow. And then. Well, let's just see if that does anything. If not. Oh, yeah, black and red. So, blue is first. Okay, blue's first. Alright, so, blue, purple, green, yellow, black, red, and I don't think it did anything, so we'll start with yellow first. <laughs> Alright, so, yellow, blue, purple, uh, green, Black, red. See that did anything? I don't think it did anything though. Oh. Because I feel like red should be the last because it's the floor. But I don't know. See, like I'm already eight under chaos. So. <laughs> nice. If I go by that butterfly, it's yellow, red. I can't tell that. Blue purple. Yeah, he just he just pops in here and there. I don't know what it could be. The evil champion, nobody knows. <laughs> uh, that guy's too good at Marvel. Hey, what's up, friend? What's going on? Yeah, I haven't streamed in like months but uh, I decided to with an old game for just to start it off but man I'm stuck in this area all right I'm gonna leave this area I think I think I have to use piccolo I think because of the sound yes I know I know I know I remember the foxmas I hope you're doing all right wanted to I this is like well this is my second day streaming since I even moved here and I moved here like right when Evo started so <laughs> it's been a, a bit so I think the has to do a that's good oh, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna die I'm gonna die Oh, I'm gonna die. Ash, have you been seeing that at all? Have you seen the do that? I'm gonna try to avoid these guys. I think, I think it's Ooh, like, I hope I don't die. I'm gonna just... I think it's a tank bus. Ignore them. Alright, ignore them. I got so lucky, no! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Uh, at least I have these energy attacks. I, I just need to kill like maybe two more robots, three? Oh my god. They explode, so they, they do hit me on, on explosion. Uh, I don't wanna. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I have a couple more energy, so I can do this. No, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, we did it, 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 we're good, we're good. Tomorrow's like a big day, though. Tomorrow's Oh no, are we all Undertaker? I mean, I'm the only one that's gonna die. 
I don't remember where to go now. Where's the... Oh, okay, it's here, it's here, it's here. Wait, wait, what? Oh, that's where I am, the... Okay, so I'm gonna go to Piccolo, because... If my logic is correct, it's because of his big ears, the sound pisses him off, so it might be able to stop it. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> But at least I got to level up Gohan a good amount. 23 is pretty good. Oh no, okay, whatever, I leveled up a little bit. 25, 25, 25. Oh, right. god damn it! <laughs> so no, then we can kill it now. No, I don't, I don't get hit by it. I just gotta see it. All right. <laughs> so please let me just do this combo. <laughs> No! <laughs> it's like people were walking up and he was trying to like sense their aura to see who it was. <laughs> oh. I don't remember this at all. I haven't played this in like 15 years, so this game's gonna take me a bit. I don't wanna, there's so many combinations I can do, I don't wanna do all of them. Like, what's. Uh... <coughs> like, there's no way it's just like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Maybe there's something to read. Cause I just don't know where to go if I if I don't find the the thing here. Oh, is there something here? And I know we have to do something, I just don't remember what. No, this is where the other capsule was. That the outside. I can't go through there. I don't remember. I don't remember. <coughs> this is not even purple, it's like pink, man. Okay, maybe I have to turn on the colors that are there, which is Is that it? Because, I mean, I'll take out the green and yellow. Maybe it's just purple and red. Or not purple, but blue and red. There's blue, purple, red, 
maybe yellow. Okay, let me take off green. Because I guess the door doesn't count. Alright, alright, alright. So we're taking off green. See, now it looks purple. Man, I'm so blind. I don't know. Maybe there's no light blue. But that looks like blue. I guess it'll, it'll come together later. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go back to the generators and for that energy uh, door and see if it just doesn't destroy it its own or something. I don't know. There's three generators, so I was supposed to find one. I'm hoping this is just kind of like a side mission and I figured it out later, so. Yeah, because there's nothing up here. That's the Vegeta thing, that's the energy field, that's the Goku thing. There could be one spot, it could be over there, so I'm gonna go look over there. But, I don't know. I think I could just level up by doing this over and over. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't give me a lot. I mean, maybe like four more times. And then maybe. This reminds me of Shining Soul? Maybe. I mean, it's like an old school RPG ish kind of thing. What's up, Texas? Uh, okay, I need like one more, one more, one more. And then we'll, we'll go. Alright, cool. We're out, we're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. That's what one today, nice. Who needs home field advantage? I honestly thought they were gonna lose because of all the internal stuff that there was going on, but I guess they yeah, I... Let me go back and see the energy field, then I'll come back this way. So yeah, there's one more left. So we're just gonna go all the way to the right, bottom right area. <coughs> With that record, yeah, 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 you guys kind of got this. Let 
be jerks. They're just bullying me. I think we can do it. I think I think uh, Astros got got a chance. I mean, if they were able to beat the Yankees like that, they'll be fine. I think the Yankees have the best offense too. Don't tell me she gives me something. Okay. And no, this is not it. My god. Oh no! Is she supposed to like, give me an item or something? Like, Jesus. That would be a really helpful, lady. I don't want to look this up. Oh my god. I'm very. So frustrated in this area. over here again? No, not them. Nothing. They're already level 27, dude. I still don't know what to do. Amazing, like how, how did I pass it on to the kid? I can't even figure it out now. Don't tell me it's over here. Please don't tell me it's over here. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a brief intermission. <laughs> no, I don't think it's down here. I thought, I thought there was some. You see, like, it looks like there's a pathway this way. Uh, there might be one on the bottom right or bottom left. I doubt it though. But. Like, I can't 
figure out that stupid saw one. There's like no way. I don't think there's anything over here though. Nah, it's over there. Like if I got clues as to what the damn colors were, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Just drop some kind of hint. But I go to the house and there's nothing. What is this place? What is this? Oh no, did I tr I'm a writer who moved into the mountains to get in touch with nature. There's a guy named Vinny who moved north of here and he's so obnoxious. Constantly playing terrible music, it's not poetic at all. There he goes again, listen to those lyrics. You've got the awesome power within you, it's been there all along. Don't feel blue, you've got the eyes of the lion. So don't feel blue. <laughs> Very inexpensive to live up here in the mountains, to live a simple life. I don't even know how to speak. Recently, this guy named Vinny moved in and he seems to have tons of electricity. I don't even know where he gets it from because there's no power station around here. He gets it from the generator. It keeps on being awake listening to music. Here's the only thing holding you back. Green pastures are ahead of you moving in an attack. Don't forget the eyes of the lion. That's twice that they mentioned the eyes of the lion. All right, we're just gonna pass this. <coughs> Feel the danger around you, the black darkness surrounds you. Where are you gonna do? The eyes of the lion. Okay, so we got black, blue, green. Finally, we're making some progress, guys. Oh, wow. I already got hit by it, so we're gonna kill it. Let's just see if there's anything around here, but I don't think there is. Alright, so we made some progress. Black, blue, and green. Kill. I'm just gonna do it real quick. I don't think there's enemies here. Yeah, I'm 23 only. Shoot. Whatever. We'll level them up soon. Boom. Boom. All right. So. Black. Oh, how that Alright, let's do it in, in the- die? wait. What are you killing me that time? There we go. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, we did it, chat. We did it. We did it. We finally made progress in this stupid quest. Always explore every area, I guess. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, we shut off this guy's electricity. Jesus. Alright. What happened, Vinny? What happened to your stupid music, huh? Without electricity, nothing works. The Vinny derives all his power from his electronic devices. Is this the end of the Vinny? It's so dumb. Ha ha ha.
Nah, that, that thing takes a lot of health out. I'm gonna try to do it again. I'm gonna try to charge again this time. Yeah, that actually went pretty well. I'm gonna try like two more tries. Just keep going, we'll level up later. So there it is, Dr. Zero's lab. I had hoped to avoid activating them again so soon, but it seems the time has come to put my androids for the test. I no longer have a choice. Whew. Ah yes, Android 17. Dr. Zero, how are you today? Good, good. You remember me. Of course, you gave me life, Doctor. And now, 18. <coughs> Hello, Doctor. How have you been? So good, so you remember to me too. How could I forget? I see that you have chosen to become an android. <laughs> she looks, she looks like so bug eyed. Yes, I have now. I now have eternal life like you, but we have more pressing matters at hand. In the past, the two of you have displayed an unacceptable tendency to disobey my orders. I blame myself for this and the way I programmed you. I have since modified your programming, however. <laughs> Android 17, what are you doing? This is the controller you used to deactivate us last time, isn't it, Dr. Dro? I think I'd better hold on to it. Give that back to me. You disagree? Then let's try another idea. Hello there, fellow adventure. <laughs> and so he destroys it. What have you done? You destroyed it. You dare to find me? I created you. You're not going to put us to sleep again, old man. Alright. Well, well, what do we have here? Is this what you had us all so nervous about? A long-haired boy and young girl? I take it these are the scary androids we've heard so much about? That's them. They're androids? They look like... They look just like humans to me. 
Don't be fooled by how they look. They're strong. They're both deadly and stronger than all of us. I order you to destroy these intruders. <coughs> be quiet, old man. We will deal with them when we are ready. Oh, what's this? What's in this chamber? He's kind of lacking in the looks department, isn't he? Why do I only have 4K? You stay away from there. Do not open that chamber. Are you? I order you to stay away from Android 16. There's another Android I didn't know about. Go on. I think it's time to wake our sleeping friend. Right. No, do not listen to him. I have not completed his programming yet. 16 is a prototype. Oh, if you activate it, it may fal malfunction. Wait, oh, that might Let's find <laughs> out. God damn it. No, don't. Stop meddling with 16 right now. Fuck. I gave you life and I can take it away. That's it. I think it's about time I sent you to the scrap heap. Now, let's take care of it. Open the chamber. If they're set free that android, it'll be the end of us all. No. <laughs> Bad move, what did you go and do that for? I don't understand, there's no way anyone could have survived that. That was my most intense intense blast. That's too bad, by doing that you show them how weak you are. Don't make me wait all day, 18, are you going to open it or not? Let's meet our new friend. Well, good morning. It must feel good to get out of that right, coffin. How long have you been yeah, cooped man. up in there? Yeah, my guard stays on. It's not like the other thing. The skills. Come on, speak. Didn't Dr. Jero give you a voice box? Dr. Jero tried to tell us that it was dangerous to activate you. Why would he tell us something like that? Trash. Strong side type, huh? Come on, he's not going to talk. Let's go. Where? To complete our mission. Our mission is to find Goku and destroy him. Well, I'll be. The big guy can speak after all. My boy. Ah, hey, they're leaving. Good riddance. We're safe. But where do you think they're going? Should we follow them? They can't be headed toward West City. That's the wrong direction. I bet they're gone after Goku. Dr. Joe's goal was to get back at Goku for destroying his Red Ribbon Army. But do you still think those do those androids will follow Dr. Rose's orders now? I don't care where they went, I'm going after them, they're cowards. They left because they're afraid of me, and they should be. None of us are powerful enough to go up against those androids, but we have to find them. Alright, so yeah, this is where we... Uh, me, Android 18 and 17. Uh, 16 wasn't part of the timeline in Trunks' this day. It's another change in this timeline from his visit. Kind of want to have Super Saiyan ready, so I'm going to get transform and then. Oh, I didn't get the transform. Ah, oh, that sucks. Hopefully it won't jump into cutscene and I think it does. Do it Is something wrong? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I just wanted to enjoy the scenery. So we're going to walk? No, we're going to drive. We're going to take the next automobile that passes us. How does that sound? It sounds to me like you're being foolish. Why should we waste our time driving a car? Because I've never done it before. What do you say, Edge 16? What? Did you just say Goku? Wow, is that a one-track mind? I think that was a yes. Look, it's one of Goku's friends, Vegeta, if I'm not mistaken. Number 16, why don't you see see what you can? Why don't we see what you can do? Destroy all of them. I refuse. He refuses. Who does he think he is? Never mind him. I'll take care of him. So, Android 18 comes to fights.
Hopefully I get it off in time, I do. And he bodies me. <laughs> nice try. I was almost scared for a second there. Who's next? You look scared. Just relax. You're not the one we're looking for, okay? We want Goku. Hey, what are you looking at, 16? Please. You two scared the birds away. Birds, listen, we better get going. We have to find Goku. No, stop. You guys leave Goku alone. He's sick. Goku hasn't done anything to you. Why are you after him? 16 is programmed to kill Goku, so what? That's what we're going to do. Did you forget Dr. Joe is gone? You took care of it. Yes, I haven't forgot about that, but this is a game, my friend. Good luck, bye. Carpet Frog, thank you so much for the follow man, I appreciate it. I'm a horse. What? Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Are you guys alright? Father, where are you going? Let him go, Trunks. Ever since Vegeta became a super his ego has been out of control. Honestly, I think what the androids hurt most today was his pride. He is very ashamed of his defeat. It's not my fault. I should have been fighting with you today. I was just too scared. Don't sweat it. Even if you had joined us, Krillin, we, we would not have won today. Why don't you guys go to Goku's house and move up to somewhere safe? He'll be able to join you when he's well. Good idea, but what are you going to do, Piccolo? What are you going to be doing? I don't know. Come on, I know you got a plan. Why don't you tell us what your scheme is? Listen to me. Stop asking questions. It's none of your concern. There's something I have to do alone. I'm leaving, and anyone who tries to follow me will be sorry. <coughs> What's with him? Did I miss something? Don't worry, Tian. I bet he's going to Kami's lookout. Huh, Kami's place? You mean the guardian of the earth? Yes, Piccolo and Kami are the same being. Piccolo's embodiment of all the negative energy that was inside of Kami. They were once w one being until they split into two. I remember hearing something long ago. Kami and Piccolo hadn't split into two, they'd be the strongest being in the universe. Get it? The reason Piccolo has to go to Kami's place isn't that he can join with him again. You know what a Super Saiyan is? Well, Piccolo and Kami are going to become a Super Namek. Wait a second, that sounds great, but aren't the Dragon Balls a part of Kami? And if they unite, won't Kami disappear? Won't the Dragon disappear as well? Yeah, then we wouldn't be able to use the Dragon Ball so which I went back to life. Piccolo's thinking to join the Kami must be desperate. Then that's what he wants to go do. So we have to fly to Kami's place. Switch characters, no. That's my money. Alright, well, Piccolo, what are you doing here? Mr. Bobo, I'm here to see Kami. Don't get in my way or you'll be sorry. Kami's in his throne room. Please, Piccolo, don't cause any trouble here. I think there's a golden castle somewhere around here. Well, it's not up here. I'm gonna go see what's on the right side. And this is where the Hyderabad Titan Chamber is. So, I'm 
that'll be important later on. <coughs> Piccolo, you've returned. This isn't a social call, Kami. It's business. I think you already know that already. Yes, I know. Of course I know. The bond between us is the mind as well as the body. Good. That saves me some time. What an unexpected honor this is. I never thought that you and I would ever be reunited again. Stop smiling. I'm not doing this because I want to. It's just because I need our combined powers. That's all. I'm not sure I'm going to tolerate being so close to you. Your mere presence sickens me. And your attitude aggravates me, but perhaps my time as guardian of the earth has come to an end. In our combined form, we may only be the ones. We may be the only ones who can win this fight. Then we agree. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. But I may still be on our side. I would like to let things play out before I make my decision. You want to see how things play out? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes things are not as they appear, Piccolo. I'm not entirely sure that these androids are out to destroy the Earth. <coughs> Is this a joke? You've watched everything that's gone on below and you're still going to let it continue? Don't you remember what Trunks said? The future will be destroyed by these androids. But Trunks made a mistake. The history of his future is... ...is different than ours. And I suppose next you're going to tell me that these androids are a great bunch of guys once you get to know them. I'm serious. You may not agree with me, but I'm all... All I'm saying is that I need more time to make a decision. Have it your way. You're scared, I know. If you need more time, then take it. I'll be waiting. We need to get Goku to Masaroshi's. These androids could show up anytime. Guys, I just found something very peculiar from a capsule satellite photo. It looks like a capsule vehicle, but I don't see it anywhere in our catalogs. Let me see what? This is the t same time capsule I used to come here from the future. This this is so weird. Where is it located? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but it looks like it's outside somewhere else. Oh, uh, it looks like it's somewhere outside of Ginger Town, north of West City. Are you going there? Yes, I've got to check this out. Alright, then I'm going to meet you there. Do you think that's safe? Mother always knows best. Whoa. It's so crazy that she just kind of like, yeah, I'm your mother, so what's up? Be positive, your time machine is one of a kind, and you can't get a drink. Yeah. I'll take a water for now. Uh, are you positive your time machine is one of a kind? Yes, I'm sure of it. I'm coming with you, Trunks. And now we get to use Trunks! And but Trunks can also become a Super Saiyan. So we can use his powers and stuff like that. Oh. Alright, so we gotta get out of here. I'm trying to think if I should just call it for today. Uh, Maybe I'll come back like in an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll... Let me see, where's the save point? I know the save point's around. Is it around here or not? I don't remember. Yeah, it's right here. Alright. <coughs> I'm gonna take like an hour break, stretch out my back and stuff, and... Uh, see how it goes for now, but... Um, I'll come back if I if I'm still feeling it. If I'm still up, I'll come back within an hour uh, to continue the story. Cause I want to finish this game, and then I want to go to Resident Evil uh, remake too. I'm pretty sure that's game one D pull. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, uh, if not. Uh, I'll try to stream sometime tomorrow morning. That's maybe what I'll do, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.